Hello and welcome to today's uh, session and uh, today we're going to focus on uh, one very important element that uh, sometimes we miss out when uh, dealing with JS data and uh, it would be of help to many and I know and uh, it's a very it might seem simple idea but sometimes it can be really tiring or, or uh, a mind cracker when it comes to its implementation. So I got a question um, from a friend and I uh, was like, so let me do a video here where I'm going to show all that. So uh, And the question was, um, if I have my attribute table here for maybe earlier I have in my QGIS and I want to edit one of the the fields that I have, how do I going to achieve that? So uh, as you can see my data here, I have... Uh, five uh, fields just town name town id town type and id and the target id and town type so i want um to get a layer my layer here with a field town id edited so how do i do that uh, maybe someone could think of a maybe rust a calculator here but um if for example let me talk with that and uh, get into editing mode if i come to raster calculator here you find that uh, you're gonna create a you can create a, a new field maybe you can create a virtual field you can update an existing field but this one is provided for editing the features or the uh, elements inside this field but not its name so in this case we want to edit its name so how do you gonna go about that and um that's why we're here today and um one thing or one uh, issue there's a very good tool uh, qgs tool or qgs plugin that is used for that and it's very good and uh you're gonna achieve what you wanted so um the tool itself uh if i search on some of the you know the basics of uh, plugins in qgis so we want to our data here we want to edit columns that already exist uh, not columns sorry but fields row uh, yeah columns that already exist so we want to edit for example if it's town name i want to achieve maybe town uh, reference for example so uh I just have a few of the towns, only 46, but um, imagine of a scenario you had 10,000 uh, records. So you want to change the field, uh, the field name, but um, it sometimes it's an issue. So uh, I want to show you a very fast way of uh, doing it, but uh, I'm going, uh, we'll be using a, a plugin called Table Manager. So using table manager, you are able to customize your tables or your layers as much as you want. So um, that's the basics of installing plugins. I'm gonna go to plugins manager here. You find um, where is it? Let me close that. There. Yeah. So we're gonna come and um, we search for plugin. Our plugin here. So the plugin, as I say, it's a table. Or table then a uh, manager so uh okay on my machine i've installed it but um uh, if you search yours will be under not installed so you're gonna find it here so if you check its information it uh, was created as our account to removing and renaming columns in dbf tables with an all built-in solutions qgi so this is very true and um so um uh, yeah as it gives you more information on uh, about the plugin as you can see its development is uh, depreciated so please consider using using a refactor field algorithm so these are some of the as you advance your qgis version things going uh, keep on changing so depending on the version you are using there might be a different approach of solving this but um i want to show you uh, how to make it uh, using this plugin so uh, once you have it installed um you're gonna find it under the the vector menu here so and uh when i open uh, my table manager here uh oh okay let me toggle that 
so if i uh you should not be in edit mode so um i'm gonna come here then there i am so uh, as you can see now it fetches for you the fields that exist in this layer and uh when you click on each you find some of the elements or some of the functionalities that you can use for that field so uh, as you can see it's right here yeah so our name for example we want to change to reference so we have a rename we have insert we have plum but uh, we want to rename so if i just rename here maybe i'm gonna call it town ref and then say okay and then i save yeah that tells me saving as successful the old table has been back up as town.bbf you wish to keep the layer style yeah, maybe yes yeah so if you close that and i come to the attribute table wow the column or that our field here has already changed so that was simple and uh as you can see it's a, a very simple way of uh, solving a, a problem so see you at the other time